Today is about uh, building strong relationships and real relationships. A few speakers have spoken today about being authentic. Really, really important that how you see me on stage here is how I am when I'm talking to you out having a coffee. Basically, if you're not getting any repeat or referral business, it's probably because you're not connecting with people and you're not connecting with them regularly enough. So my presentation is to share with you what I do. And if you implement one thing today, just follow what I do and your business will take off. Okay, it is that simple. So basically my strategy is um, to, to get more repeat and referral business is basically just to stay connected to everyone I know. How do I do that? So basically um, we start with a CRM system. I use their CRM system because it's absolute gold. It's um, made my business um, you know, uh, just flow seamlessly um, with this uh, database. The database system I use is Agentbox. Agentbox has um, 30, over 30% 30 of the top 100 agents in Australia using the system. With the uh, database, um, what I use it for is a number of things, but basically to stay in contact with people. So um, email communication is massive. So I'm gonna share a few things that I do. Um, and by the way, with the email communication, if you would like a copy of my newsletter so we can stay in contact and build a relationship, because a lot of my referrals come from agents that work outside of the area that I'm in. I get heaps of referrals from agents in the southwest, north of the river, and that's because of things like this, where I share what I do and they wanna give back to me through referrals. So um, I'll show you an example of my newsletter. So it's a video newsletter, so something um, pretty cool and also helps with the connection when you're dealing with people. If you can put a video in your newsletter, it's very, very powerful. So this goes out every week, except for the weeks that I'm on holidays, which is every school holidays, and also over the Christmas period. If you're on my database, I'm communicating with you via a newsletter every week um, for 40, 42 weeks of the year. The information I put in there is very relevant to real estate interest rates. And I source that from REWA, Australian Financial Review, uh, Chamber of Business, anywhere I can get some good information that people are going to um, value, okay? And with the newsletter, you can see up there, it's got um, uh, feature properties. Um, it's got uh, lease listings and opens. Uh, the feature properties every week, all our new listings and all of our price reduced listings um, are feature properties. And then we have our opens. Um, it goes out on a Thursday and it has all our home open times for the weekend. And one of the ladies that um, I referred to, Glenn, he was talking earlier on today, um, when he said that, Irene, I was just sitting in my chair and I thought, oh, where did I meet Irene? You know, because I couldn't, you know, she wasn't really um, like a close personal friend. So when I'm traveling, my task list is on my mobile phone. I press a button, it's, it's dialing. So I'm not carrying, you know, pieces of paper, scrambling around looking for numbers. I've just got my task list to smash out the calls. So Irene, I met, she came through a property in Abernethy Road back in 2012. I added her to my database for my newsletter and I added her to my VIP. She was a developer and she was looking for a development site. I never sold her a property. She bought in Kalamunda and when she developed it and wanted to sell, she called me because I was the only person keeping in touch with her. I couldn't help her because I don't specialise in that area. And that's how that referral to you, Glenn, uh, arrived. Um, and so that was from nurturing somebody uh, from 2012. 
Yesterday morning, I was sitting in a cafe, I get a call from a lady called Sandy. Sandy says, Michael, you don't really know me, but I met you a year ago at a home open, and we're very close to selling, and you're the only person who's been keeping in touch with me. Can you come and meet with us to put the home on the market? So I said, no problems, locked in the appointment. Then I've gone into the database, and since last year, I've sent her nearly 60 SMSs on properties.